What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm sure most of you guys have actually heard about the fact that Tom Thibodeau has actually recently been signed by the New York Knicks to be their head coach. In this video, I actually talk about how I think, you know, my thoughts and opinions on Jason Kidd actually being the potential head coach. But obviously, I actually recorded this video before the Tom Tibbu hiring actually happened. So keep in mind. But I thought I'd just upload this, you know, a still just based on the fact that there's a lot of rumors that the Knicks are actually going to hire Jason Kidd to be their number one assistant coach. Just in case, you know, the Tom Tibbu one doesn't work and they end up actually going and, you know, firing him after a season or so, or whatever, you know, may actually happen. So, yeah, a lot in this video, I do talk about how I think Jason Kidd would actually be, you know, the head coach of, you know, the New York Knicks. But I thought I'd still upload it anyway, because I do put a lot of my thoughts and opinions out there on, you know, what I think about Jason Kidd, and would he still be a good fit for the New York Knicks. So, I thought I'd just still upload this anyway, considering they're actually pretty interested in him being the assistant coach of the team. And obviously, yeah, I do list my thoughts and opinions on him as a coach in general. So yeah, just keep in mind this video was actually made pretty much before the Tom Thibodeau, you know, signing, but I thought I thought it'd still be a little bit of informative of my opinion on how I just see Jason Kidd as a coach and how I think he would be as an assistant coach anyway with the New York Knicks. But yeah, without further ado, What's going here on, it is. Everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. This time actually revolving around the New York Knicks yet again with it currently being reported that Jason Kidd is now the front runner to become the official New York Knicks head coach. This is being reported by, I believe, Stefan Bondi, and there's also a couple of, you know, news coming out right now that LeBron has actually, you know, heard about this and has kind of actually said that he doesn't want Jason Kidd to leave the Lakers, and he is, you know, pretty content on, you know, pretty much him staying on the team. So this is all, you know, very, very interesting news. The Lakers are, I think they're in a very interesting spot right now. They're probably the championship favorites at the time of, you know, making this video. Well, the New York Knicks are pretty much on the opposite side of the scale. They aren't exactly doing too good at all currently. And yeah, their record has been kind of showing that. I mean, you know, again, they didn't get selected to come into play in, you know, the little bubble currently going on in Orlando right now. But there is a lot of, you know, interesting stuff to do with, you know, then your know, head coach um, job pretty much with a couple of candidates that have been pretty much Ty Lu, uh, Jason Kidd, that's now been, you know, obviously now the front runner. Um, Tom Thibodeau has been very, very interested in the job and he's been rumored to be leading this whole time. But now, obviously, Jason Kidd is, you know, coming out of nowhere and could actually be leading this job, um, you know, offer. And again, I'm not exactly too sure how I feel about this one. At all. Look, I don't exactly know if I like the Tom Thibodeau one with the New York Knicks at all. I mean, he was pretty good with the Chicago Bulls. And then when he got to the Timberwolves, honestly, he was pretty good there. But I just feel like he he can't really adapt to certain players on his team. He kind of has this way where he tries to bring in players that he's coached or is well familiarized with, kind of bring them on his team. For example, he obviously coached Jimmy Butler on the Chicago Bulls. He ended up getting Jimmy Butler to the Timberwolves. Same with Derrick Rose. He ended up getting Derrick Rose to the Timberwolves. Taj Gibson, he coached on the Chicago Bulls, ended up getting onto the Timberwolves. So many players like that. So again, I'm just not exactly too sure how I feel about Tom and his coaching but I don't know if Jason Kidd is really necessarily any better at all. Although, Kidd hasn't really had that much opportunity to kind of, you know, prove himself. I mean, he did one season with Brooklyn where they had a 44-38 and 38 record. Being on the positive side where they lost in the conference semifinals. And then obviously went to, um, to Milwaukee. Played, you know, three and a half seasons there or so. Again, that wasn't exactly the greatest stint. I mean... He did make the playoffs two times in that kind of time period, but they obviously lost in the playoffs both times. And yeah, again, his record with a near prime Giannis, they end up finishing 23 and 22. So again, that is not exactly that great from Jason Kidd at all. But then he's kind of gone over with the Lakers and he's kind of been coaching under Frank you know, Vogel for a little bit now. And the Lakers are actually doing really good. And honestly, I didn't know how I felt, felt about you know Lakers hiring Vogel at all, but Vogel has proved to be one of the best coaches, you know, throughout this season, just because he's actually brought in a really nice defensive kind of minded kind of way to the Lakers. I mean, they really do play a very tall ball lineup that I don't think a lot of people really realize that they're actually, you know, quite tall. Like, I mean, Anthony Davis 
is a late, he's probably I think he's six foot eleven. Javel McGee's like a seven foot. LeBron James I think is six foot nine. And again, those are three pretty probably above average play or average height for their position. You know, especially LeBron being uh, he's like six foot nine to six foot ten. That's probably around average to above average. Same with AD. JaVale McGee is probably about average, but that's a, you know, pretty, pretty decently tall lineup considering we've seen that teams are actually playing, you know, smaller players at these positions. For example, PJ Tucker, who's, I think, six foot five, playing at center for the Houston Rockets. So, yeah, looking at that team, it is relatively quite tall, and they've been very, very good defensively throughout this season. And I think that. Jason Kidd would have definitely learned at least some stuff off Frank, you know, Vogel. Again, Jason Kidd is 47. He's had his fair share of coaching right now. But there's always stuff that you can learn from other coaches and, you know, even your assistant coaches as well. And I definitely think there would have been some stuff to take out of Vogel because, yeah, he's had a very interesting kind of coaching style this year with playing a little bit of a more taller team. But it's still spacing out the floor with, you know, KCP starting quite a, a number of games, at least a third of a season, I think he started. Same with Avery Bradley, who's a relatively decent three-point shooter as well, has been starting quite a bit of the season too. So again, yes, they've got all their defense, defense in there, but they make sure to space out the floor too. It's a really nice team that the Lakers do have. You know, Danny Green as well, who's a, a great perimeter defender, and he's one of the best, you know, corner specialists in the league. It's a really nice style how they kind of got at the Lakers. I think if, you know, Jason Kidd was to actually go to the Knicks, I think they would be very, very disappointed with how, you know, that would kind of all go. I definitely think the Lakers would like to, you know, kind of keep onto him as really much as they can pretty much do. But yeah, Jason Kidd, even though he's coached quite a bit in the NBA right now, he's never really been... I never really had that much opportunity to kind of be an assistant coach and kind of learn from others. And I think this season under, uh, you know, Frank Vogel will definitely help him out quite a bit. And I think that, yeah, it's something that the New York Knicks can definitely take into account. He's, you know, pretty experienced right now. He's had about five seasons of head coaching. He's learned a little bit more now under one of the best head coaches in the league right now, who's actually been very good this season. Probably going to run for coach of the year in Frank Vogel. I think it could be a pretty interesting option and one that could actually definitely suit the Knicks as, yeah, again, I'm not exactly, don't know if I'm too much of a fan of it, but again, there aren't exactly heaps of options that really suit the Knicks. I mean, Kenny Atkinson's going to be a, you know, he's a, he's a, a great coach at developing young players. I don't know if the Knicks are really want that. I think they're going to want to try and bring in some veterans. We've had rumors that they're interested in Chris Paul, DeMar DeRozan, and, you know, Danilo Gallinari. So I don't think Kenny Atkinson would really kind of help with that. I think Jason Kidd would be pretty good with it. Tom Thibodeau is obviously very experienced. I think he could be the guy if you want to kind of have that. And obviously, he already does have, you know, I believe... Uh, Again, Taj Gibson, who we did coach at the Chicago Bulls and, um, you know, and, uh, the uh, Timberwolves as well. So, again, he's already got that going for him. But then, yeah, I've heard rumors about Ty Lu. I don't know if Ty Lu would necessarily really fit into their team. It, def it depends how offensive they want to go. I honestly believe that if Ty Lu had the option between the Knicks and the Nets, he's probably going to go sign with the Nets because of their offensive forces in Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. And obviously, he has coached Kyrie Irving before. So I think that kind of takes Ty Lu off the table anyway. I think he's probably going to be the head for the uh, Brooklyn Nets co uh, coaching position, I would think. So yeah, I think maybe out of Kenny Atkinson and Jason Kidd, it depends if they want to go young, then it might be Kenny Atkinson. If they want to go, you know, maybe with the... Uh, veterans and all that type of stuff of Chris Paul, Zanelli Gallinari, maybe DeMar Rosen, which they're rumored to try and go get. Yeah, I think it's going to be a very interesting battle to see who could win it maybe out of Thibodeau and uh, Jason Kidd. But yeah, it's going to be a very interesting one. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Definitely don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this? Do you guys think it would be a good idea for the New York Knicks to, you know, hire Jason Kidd to be their head coach? Or do you guys think it would be a bad idea? Again, I'd definitely really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. Do you guys think it should be Tom Thibodeau? Do you guys think it should be Ty Lu Or maybe even Kenny Atkinson? I'd definitely really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. But also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlog channels. Links for them will all be in the description down below. And definitely go, don't forget to go check out my podcast as well. If you haven't already, links for that will be all be in the description down below. I talk about all the latest sports content, you know, NBA, NFL, NBL, just all the latest sports content with all of them. So yeah, again, I highly recommend going and checking out my podcast. 
So yeah, that will all be in the link in the description down below. But as I was saying, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.